Good morning. We're reading in Super Kids on page, well, we're not going to start on page 194, but the story started on page 194, The Case of the Mystery Monster. And remember yesterday, Lily was um, in the library, and Mr. Burns, the librarian, told her that there was um, somebody who was taking the books, and there was a clue, and on a piece of paper it said, hold on to your books, the mystery monster lives here. And Lily decided that she would try and figure out who the mystery monster is. And so she sat in the mystery section and she kept her eyes on everybody, checking out to see who it was. And then she saw this man who appeared interested and looked a little bit like he might be the mystery monster. So she watched real carefully, but then the man walked away and she decided that man does not seem interested in mystery books, Lily said to herself. And that's where we stopped yesterday. So turn to page 200. Can you believe we're on page 200 already? And we're going to read what the, the rest of the story. Lily got up and took a walk around the room. She still didn't spot any clues. So she went back to her table to get her book, but her book had vanished. Hmm, let's pause there. What does vanished mean? It went away or disappeared, good. There was a note in its place. Oh, hold on to your books. The mystery monster lives here. Ah, another clue. Next page. Lily whirled around. What does world mean? Right, she turned around real quick. And even her dress looks like she turned around really quick. The man in the brown coat was walking quickly out of the room. Uh-oh. Do you think it's him? Do you think Lily thinks he's the mystery monster? Lily ran over to Mr. Burns. Mr. Burns, she whispered. Stop that man. He's the mystery monster. Do you think she really believes it's him? Do you think the man is the mystery monster? Mr. Burns jumped up from his desk. Books tumbled to the ground. Look at Logan, oh my goodness. The man in the brown coat went outside. Oh no, said Lily, now we'll never catch the mystery monster. She looks really upset. And look at that little girl telling her to be quiet. Mr. Burns looked very upset. Oh no, he said. Perhaps I let my foolish joke go too far. Let me show you, Lily. Ooh, that's an, that's an interesting thing. What does it mean if a joke goes too far? It probably means that sometimes a joke that was supposed to be funny it upsets or hurts somebody. So let's see what happens. He took out a big sheet of paper from under his desk. It said, boys and girls coming soon. Mystery book week. We'll have a mystery book club and a mystery book corner. All mystery book fans invited the mystery monster. Hmm. What was the note about? You see, Lily, said Mr. Burns, Mystery Book Week is coming in eight days. I took all the mystery books from the mystery corner. I wrote the spooky notes myself. Oh, so you are the mystery monster, said Lily with a giggle. Yes, said Mr. Burns, but now all the other kids will know the secret. No, they won't, said Lily with a smile. I won't tell. After all, I enjoy a good mystery. So, Mr. Burns was a mystery monster. Is that what you think? And was it for real? Or was he just doing it so that during mystery book week, they would have a little mystery? So he took the books just to play a joke on all the kids to get them interested in reading. 
I could see a teacher or a librarian doing something like that. And now he's worried that it will be spoiled for the other kids. But what does Lily tell him? She, she says, I won't tell, because she enjoys a good mystery too. Now, I have a question. Did that surprise you? Did it surprise you that Mr. Burns was doing that? I mean, and not a, a real mystery monster? Did you suspect it was a librarian? Hmm, I didn't. I didn't suspect at all. Okay, now let's think about this. Mr. Burns said, maybe I let my joke go too far. Do you think he let that joke go too far? You might say yes, because Lily almost chased after a man who did nothing wrong. And you might say no, because Lily enjoyed trying to catch the guy. What's a problem that could have happened if Lily had caught up with the man in the brown coat before she found out that Mr. Burns was a mystery monster? What if she had caught that guy and chased him, chased him and caught him? You might think that Lily might have yelled at the man for, talk, for taking the books and the man would have gotten really upset because he had been confused. Or Lily might have felt embarrassed. But it worked out just fine, huh? When you're reading, you really need to think about what you're reading and understand all the different parts of the plot and how the characters are feeling so your story, so your comprehension of the story is better. Okay, now you could answer the questions that, miss, that go with Miss um, Costa's word work also. Okay. Mass this morning at 8.15.